And then, mm-hmm. uh, oh, that what's that movie on the Turing test? Um, Ex Machina, thank you, yes. Uh, yeah, I, I a it cautionary fun. tale of what happens when a, a robot becomes sentient. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, that's the big question, right? How, like, yeah. And that'll answer, I think, a lot of questions about ourselves, is if a computer can be conscious or sentient, what does that say about us that are essentially meat bag computers? Well, I'll tell you one thing about oh, computers. Oh, yeah, the singularity. Yeah, I mean, this yeah, this one keep, used to keep me up at night, but yeah. Basically, yeah. like, we can get to the point where if you can, if we can uh, turn your whole DNA code into binary code and load, load everything that is you into a computer, you can mm-hmm. kind of exist as you in a computer, which means you never die. And it's like, oh, my God, what, what does that, that's... Except that for one actually... thing, a computer cannot have a soul. See, I've thought right. about I mean, that. Yeah. No, I don't know. Can't man. do it. Because no, that, that seems to be the that thing would be like where... Ghostbusters capturing um, um, what do you call it? apparitions in, in a, a containment system. You can't do it. It's because it, it is a spiritual substance. So, you know, if if anything within the the physical or the scientific or the laws of nature, it. That's different than going outside this into the supernatural. It's a totally different thing. Now, supernatural yeah. could potentially control a computer, 